You may have heard a lot about them, but graduates with STEM degrees are still in demand. Basically, a person who pursues a career in science, technology, engineering, or mathematics is almost guaranteed to find a job. But since we're talking about such a vast field, I'm going to be talking about four STEM degrees that are growing in demand. Hey everyone, my name is Maya. Thank you for tuning in. I hope by the end of this video you're, you're at least a little bit more knowledgeable and have a bit more interest about STEM degrees. A little factoid to start us off, even though there's been a lot of talk and encouragement to motivate women into STEM, most professionals in the workforces of science, technology, engineering and mathematics are still men. Let me clarify why. According to Econofact.org, though women earn close to half of all STEM bachelor's degrees, there is a large difference in women's rep representation across fields. In 2017, 49% of bachelor's degrees in science and engineering were awarded to women. However, two-thirds of women's bachelor's degrees are in life sciences, psychology, and social science fields. 62% biology, 78% in psychology, and 61% in social sciences. Whereas women were only slightly over one quarter of degree recipients in the combined math intensive fields of geoscience, 39%, engineering, 22%, economics, 32%, mathematics, 42%, computer science, 19%, and the physical sciences, 40%. So just over a quarter. Okay, so with those numbers sorted, we can talk about how the number of STEM jobs is growing twice as fast as non-STEM careers. According to adeco.com, a projected number of 11 million 278,700 positions will be available in 2030. That's a lot of, that's a lot of jobs. <laughs> so the STEM fields that are expected to see the most growth by then include statistics with a 35.4% growth, information security, a 33.3% growth, epidemiology, 29.6% growth, and computer science with a 21.9% growth. Keep your eye on those, and to sum up, if you want to enter the STEM workforce in pursuit of a career and money, your best bet would be statistics, information security, epidemiology, and computer science. The ones I just mentioned. So, what are actually those fields? Let's talk about them. Let's start with epidemiology. It's a field within public health that focuses on understanding the distribution factors of health-related events in populations. Epidemiologists use different research methods to investigate patterns of diseases, injuries, and other health conditions to identify factors influencing their occurrence. By analyzing data, epidemiologists contribute valuable insights into the risk factors associated with diseases, the impact of interventions, and the development of evidence-based public health policies. This means professionals must use descriptive and and analytical approaches, which allows them to not only characterize health events, but also investigate their causes and associations. All this hard work ultimately plays a crucial role in disease prevention, health promotion, and policy development to help society address and diminish health challenges. On to statistics. This obviously comes from the M of STEM mathematics. Essentially here, a career would involve the application of statistical principles and methods to analyze and interpret data. Statisticians, a word I just learned, design experiments, collect and analyze data, and draw meaningful conclusions from the result. They work in various fields such as government, industry, academia, healthcare, and research institutions, so you can cover a lot of base there. You're never bored. Statisticians play a crucial role in shaping decision-making processes by providing insights into trends, patterns, and relationships with data. They may work on projects related to quality control, market research, clinical trials, public policy, or, env or environmental studies. So there's so much you can do with it. So that's really great that your door is completely wide open. You collaborate with so many different researchers, scientists, and professionals from diverse fields so long as you have strong analytical and mathematical skills, along with proficiency in statistical software. As for information security, you might think it's like cybersecurity, but it isn't. Cybersecurity is a subcategory of information security, and cybersecurity is concerned with protecting electronic devices and mobile devices, devices against attacks in cyberspace, while information security is concerned with protecting the confid confidentiality, integrity, and availability of information. However, ultimately both fields share the common goal of ensuring the privacy, the integrity, and the availability of information, whether it's in digital or other forms. That being said, a degree in information security typically involves a study of principles and practices related to protecting computer systems, networks, and data from cyber threats. Students pursuing this degree gain a strong foundation in computer science, networking, and cybersecurity principles. 
So you can see that there's an overlap. Graduates with a degree in information security are equipped to pursue many roles in the cybersecurity field, such as security analysts, penetration testers, security consultants, but also as IT managers, contributing to the ongoing efforts to secure digital information and systems in general. Finally, we have computer science, which is a multidisciplinary field that encompasses the study of computation, algorithms, and information processing. It involves the design, development, and analysis of computer software, systems, and applications. Computer scientists explore ways to solve complex problems efficiently, working with programming languages, data structures, and algorithms to create innovative solutions. The field spans across a wide range of areas like artificial intelligence, machine learning, cybersecurity, software engineering, and database management. And there's probably more I haven't even mentioned. Now more than ever, computer science plays a fundamental role in shaping the technological landscape, driving advancements in various industries, and, and contributing to the evolution of computing capabilities that impact our daily lives. So there you have it. Computer science, information security, epidemiology, and statistics briefly defined. If you pursue a degree in this now, in about five years time, you'll be hot commodity. And if you're a woman in these fields, then you'll be invaluable. Especially if you're considering a degree in data and IT, be it a bachelor's, master's, or MBA, boy, do I have a treat for you. Head to our website, which you'll find in the description to check out all the different programs you can study at IU, including computer science, cybersecurity, data science, artificial intelligence, and so much more.